In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Continuity Mod for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up mod rent, like so. Now enter, here you'll find modrenf.com, click on modrenf, and this will bring you to the modern form page. Now, just go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mods. Now go to search mods and type in continuity, like so. Now click on the mods name, and then you'll be sent to this page. Now simply go to the versions tab here, and then go to game versions and choose 1.21.10, and now you'll see that we have a release for this version on Fabric. So all you have to do here is click the green download button. Now you want to go to the name of the version, and you'll find that we have one dependency here, which is for Fabric API. So click that, then go to versions, and like before, go to game versions and choose 1.21.10. Now find a latest release for this, for this version at least, and now click the green download button. And now what you have to do is simply go ahead and get yourself either a resource pack if you don't have one, or use the one that you have. So you will have to go to discover content here, because this continuity mod here basically works with a resource pack. So if you go to discover content here, and then go to resource packs, you will see that we have search resource packs. Click this and then simply go ahead and type in continuity and here you have a bunch of resource packs which are like uh, compatible with continuity mod so you can choose any one from there or choose the one that you already have so i will choose this one here why not deep origins overlays so the idea here is that we should have something that looks like this with the mod so to get this for example simply click on versions and then choose the latest one here. As it's a resource pack, it doesn't matter if the version is up to date. So you can just do download here. And here we now have our resource pack that will work with continuity mod and fabric API, which is a dependency. So now what you have to do is get yourself fabric to actually run these two mods. So to get fabric, just go to a new tab, go to your search bar and search up fabric minecraft like so. Now enter. Here you'll find fabricmc.net, click on fabric, and this will bring you to the fabric homepage. Now, simply go to the blue download button, and then go to the blue download for Windows button, if you're using Windows of course, and now you have fabric. So here you can minimize or close your web browser, I'll close mine, and then you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now, double click the fabric installer, and it will show up with a window here make sure the markup version is correct if it is click like keep it like this and i will just do install and okay and close now you will have to go to your minecraft launcher and with this you will be able to go ahead and add the two mods to the mods folder so basically the way this works is that here we have fabric, so this means we have a mods folder, which we can access by going to installations, hovering over fabric loader and going to the folder icon. And then you want to find mods and double click it. Now go to your downloads folder, select the two mods and copy them. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. If you want to add a resource pack real quick, you can go to dot minecraft. Then you can go ahead and go to resource packs, double click it of course. Now you can go to downloads, copy a resource pack, then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. And now you copy pasted your resource pack. So now you can go to Minecraft again, you can go to play, make sure fabric loader is selected and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once we have Minecraft here, you will notice that we have our resource pack right here that we can go ahead and activate. 
So what we'll do is go ahead and try it out. So we'll go to a single player world here. It also works on servers as this is client side. And now we are in a world and basically here we don't have anything active because our resource pack is not on. But basically if we go to resource packs, here we see that we have that we have a one resource pack that we got. If we turn this on, it will go ahead and activate. And here it is. Well, so now our resource pack is on. And as you can see, we do have connected textures active. That is one of the things that we can do. And if we get a crevasse, for example, so here it is. It will like connect once we have a new resource pack, which is the default one here for this one. But this is the one which comes with the mod. These two come from the mod. And if we do this, the glass will now be connected. So yeah, that is how we get this continuity mod to work for Minecraft. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!